Morning, Jennifer. Morning, Herb. Any calls? No. Messages? No. Nope. Mail? None. Okay. How about lunch? No lunch either. Dinner? Busy. Okay. How about later at my place? You're married, Herb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's it going to take with you, Jennifer? I mean, you're talking to the sales manager here. I mean, what do you want? Watches, jewelry, a side of beef fully dressed? <laughs> fix anything. You want to meet Bert Convy in person? I mean, they don't call me Mr. Kickback for nothing. Howdy. I'm Andy Travis, the uh, new program director. But kickbacks are wrong. <laughs> Herb Tarlick, uh, sorry I got a meeting. We'll talk later. If you last that long. Nice fellow. One of the best. Would you like to see the big guy? The big guy? The skipper, the chief, the head honcho, the jerk who runs his place? <laughs> yes, yes, would. Mr. Carlson, Mr. Travis is here to see you. Travis. I don't know, he claims to be the new program director. <laughs> I'm from Santa Fe, New Mexico. You know, I never really met the big guy before. He hired me on the phone. Well, then you have nothing to worry about. Really? Yes, he's still here. <laughs> Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Les. Uh, Les. This is Andy Travis, our new program director. Well, howdy. So you're Travis. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Les is in charge of news, weather, sport. The last program director lasted 30 minutes before the big guy fired him. Uh, traffic and what else, Les? Award-winning farm reports. <laughs> so watch your step, mister. <laughs> well, Les is a great guy, too. Of course, he's no herb, but he's still one of the best. <laughs> At least he's not always pawing and mauling you, constantly on the make, dying for some steamy one-night stand of unbridled passion in some out-of-the-way hotel room. You know what I mean? I sure do. <laughs> You're not like that, are you? Who, me? Oh, no, heck no. How come? I don't know. <laughs> There's a Mr. Wayne R. Coe here to see you. Oh, yeah, fine. Uh, send him away. All right. I'll tell him you're dead. <laughs> I'm not as old as I look. Really? Are you any richer than you look? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. He'll be in conference all afternoon. Thank you for calling. <clears throat> well, hello. I'm Norris Breeze. We've been expecting you. Would you like to sit down? We have all kinds of chairs. There's one over there, and there's another one over there, and then... No, that's a clock. I'm here to see Mr. Carlson and uh, Mr. Travis. Well, then get up, and let's go see them. <laughs> Carlson, look, it's Mr. Breezy. Uh -huh. Breeze, uh, Norris Breeze. Uh, hello, Mr. Breeze. Uh, have a seat. I'll be with you in a second. What exactly is it that you do, Mr. Breezy? I consult with station owners on how to improve their profits. I also program all the music for 45 rock and roll stations. You see, I listen to how music. How nice. You know, I think I'll just go get everybody some coffee. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Carlson, your uh, reception. Get a second, uh, please. All right, here's the contract on the Rayco drugstore. Just set it on the pile, Herb. I, I got to get some sleep, just an hour's worth. Uh, Herb, have you met uh, Norris Breeze, the consultant? Ah, Mr. Breeze. Norris. Norris. Uh, maybe we ought to talk to him while we've got him alone. Right. Yeah. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> Where's the coffee? Oh, that's fine. That should do it. Now, that'll take care of it. There's no need to bother Mr. Carlson with this. He's a very busy man. Thank you. Oh, good morning, Mr. Carlson. Morning, Jennifer. Hey, what was that? Nothing you need to know about. Oh, good. <laughs> if you like the way you handle things. It's just all part of my job. Well, nobody does it better. How about the mail? Uh, 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 uh. That's the important stuff. This is yours. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm sorry. Morning, my guy. Oh, hey, Herb, how's it going? Uh, terrific. Excuse me. Morning, gorgeous. You got anything uh, for me? 
Only the male herb, that's all I'll ever have for you. <laughs> you want me, Mr. Carlson? Oh, yeah, come in, Jennifer. Uh, have a seat. No, thank you. Well, all right. This particular point in time, I would like to dictate a press release. I don't take dictation. <laughs> what? Oh, all right. I guess I can do this thing myself. It's probably going to be a long meeting, though, so why don't you get coffee for all the guys here? I don't get coffee, Mr. Carlson. We agree. <laughs> you have to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> Will there be anything else I can do? No, I ain't got about a dozen. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. Well, Mr. Cawley, a lot of turkeys don't make it through Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes, uh, goodbye. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So, how's it going? Oh, same old thing, answering the phone and fighting off Herb. <laughs> Herb ought to be ashamed of himself. You know, I'm really getting tired of it. He wants to take me to lunch, he wants to take me to dinner, he wants to take me dancing. And every time I say no, he says, there's yes in my eyes. Do you see yes in there anywhere? <laughs> No. Uh, listen, you want me to talk to him? Oh, it wouldn't do any good. Well, where is he? Oh, in there, probably going through Mr. Carlson's desk. I'll speak to him. I'd do anything if you could get him off my back. <laughs> well, uh, we've been kind of saving the best till now, Johnny. Here's the one person no man in his right mind could say goodbye to. Jennifer Marlowe. In many ways, I think I'm going to miss Johnny more than anyone else in this room. <laughs> you see, I too... I too have, oh, I guess what you might call my own private romantic fantasies. <laughs> this really isn't the time or place to talk about it out here in front of all these people, but... Let me say this. I'm really going to miss you, Johnny. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. birthday to you happy birthday dear herbie happy birthday to you <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning, Jennifer. Oh, Andy, how are Johnny and Venus doing? Oh, they're doing fine. They just took the first drink. You know, we've had a lot of calls on it already. Really? That's terrific. Oh, listen, by the way, I'm expecting a reporter sometime today from the uh, Cincinnati Magazine. Really? Why? <laughs> well, they want to do a story on how the station's done since the format change. Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, we're doing fine. We, uh, got the drunk driving campaign going. The station's being repainted. Actually, this is a very good day to impress a reporter. If you say so. <laughs> stations do it. We find that usually... Excuse me. Yes? There is a slight problem. What problem? Well, perhaps we should discuss it in the lobby. Uh, okay. uh, something that you'd rather I not hear. Oh, no. We have no secrets here. <laughs> uh, Jennifer, go ahead. Herb's in jail. Oh, boy. Who's Herb? The sales manager. Excuse me, I have to start writing some of this down. They've arrested Les also. Uh, who's Les? Uh, he's our news director. <laughs> yes. Where's Bailey? They've got her, too. What does she do here? They've got continuity and then promotion. She is very professional. Mm -hmm. What did they arrest Bailey for? I'm not sure. Something about hanging out in the men's restroom. <laughs> 
What a story! Uh, I, I, I think I'll uh, go down and, and bail him out. Uh, uh, Travis, uh, sh show Mr. Stone around. Oh, certainly. Listen, Quentin, why don't we talk about this in my office? Oh, sure. You know, sometimes I send these stories to the National Enquirer. Yes, Quentin, wait. I can explain this whole thing. Uh, Andy, I've got to have some cash for bail. Well, I've got about five bucks. How much do you need? Oh, you know what? I don't know, really. I'd measure around $500. I'll get my purse. <laughs> You know, the little lady and I have this arrangement. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. She knows I mess around a little, but she figures, <laughs> what the heck? I'd rather share him than lose him. <laughs> well, if we ever got together, I'd have to have all of you. Oh, Gee, I don't know. <laughs> well, you just think about it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Call in to ask Arlene poignant personal questions and receive in return poignant personal expert advice from an expert. Expert, expert, expert. And now, here's Arlene. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Arlene. Welcome to my show, and feel free to ask me anything. Our number here is 555-WKRP, and I'd like to see those phones light up as soon as possible. <laughs> yes, you're on the air. Arlene, what's the meaning of life? The cereal or the magazine? <laughs> Hello, this is Arlene. You're on. Arlene. I got a problem, but I don't want to use my real name. Well, that's okay. So, just call me Joan. Okay. Uh, what's your problem, Joan? Who? <laughs> well, you are Joan, aren't you? No. <laughs> I'm not. Anyway, Arlene, what do you do with a husband who's always running around with other women? Have your lawyer chat with him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, this is Arlene. You're on. Arlene, this is Betty. I've been engaged to a man three months, and I just found out he has a wooden leg. Should I break it off? Oh, I don't think so. Hello, you're on. Arlene, I don't have a question for you. I just want to say I thank God for you. Well, that's very nice, but not necessary. Hello, you're on. Say, Arlene, this is Joe. How's a guy get rid of really problem dandruff? I wouldn't know her. It's Joe. Well, Joe, we have to go to a commercial now. Surely. I'd love to hear one. Say, how does a guy get rid of really problem dandruff? Hello? Hello, Arlene. This isn't Joan again? Oh, hi. You told me to get a lawyer to chat with my goonball husband who's been fooling around with every other woman in Cincinnati. I remember. Well, I've taken your advice. But I don't know how to tell Bob I'm leaving. Of course, Bob isn't his real name either. Well, Joan, I'd tell him as soon as possible. I'd look him right straight in the eyes and say, Bob, you're out. And that's the way it is, February 8th, 1981. Carmen. Oh, hi, Earl. I just want to tell you that my wife and I are getting along great since I talked to you. Thank you. Well, good. And she stopped carrying the pistol. Oh, that's great, Earl. Hello? Arlene? Yes? Everybody in my office says I'm difficult to get along with because I can never admit I'm wrong. What do you think? Maybe they're right. What do you know? You said a couple of days. It's been 64 of them. 64 does not a couple make. Yeah, but you're doing so well. How long does it take Herb to find somebody? He's giving it everything he's got. That's what I was afraid of. Andy, I don't want to be the advice lady for the rest of my life. Look, how about just for the next, uh, ten years? How about just for the next ten minutes? Ten days. Five days. Deal. Two days. Five. Deal. Well, what you're worried about, you're making a lot of new friends. That's what I'm worried about. Coming out. Hello, you're on. I don't make a move without you. 
Oh, please, don't do that. Live your own life. And remember, I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist. I'm just the advice lady. Yes? Arlene, do you think I'm fat? You look okay to me. <laughs> Arlene, this is Arlene. Oh, hello, Arlene. This is Arlene. Arlene, I just want you to know that Eddie and I are back together again. Oh, that's great, Arlene. Bye, Arlene. Bye, Arlene. Jennifer, I... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Are we ready to go? Go where? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Oh, come on, Jennifer. Knock that I stuff. I am the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't have to get huffy about it. Now we must go back. Back into the past. Into a Christmas of the past. Oh, gee, I don't know. I'd... Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, Bart. I will live forever. Is that too much to ask? Mr. Carlson? Uh, oh, Jennifer, it is you. Uh, oh, it, then, then it's over? The, the, the dream is over? Yes, Mr. Carlson, whatever it was, it's all over now. Oh, good. <laughs> Where's my checkbook? Left drawer. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. I just great. Where's my checkbook? Left drawer. Oh, yeah, my checkbook. <laughs> Hey, when's the Christmas party? About 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful when I got plenty of time. Merry Christmas, AC. Oh, Merry Christmas, Johnny. Merry Christmas. I saw ghosts. Hey, <laughs> yeah, real, real ghosts. <laughs> yeah, they showed me the light. You know, success at the expense of your friend is not success at all. <laughs> it's better to give than to receive. <laughs> That stuff's true. So I'm going to get big bonuses this year. <laughs> big, big bonuses. <laughs> I guess talking to dead people will do that to you. Yeah, they certainly will. <laughs> oh, golly. Uh, we're a team if there ever was one. <laughs> you know, Mother probably won't like this, but Darn and I run in the station. <laughs> people have got it coming. <laughs> oh, listen, Fever. Those brownies, I want them. I took those things over to Mother's house and I'll put one in her barcini. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell. Merry Christmas. <laughs> God bless us, everyone. <laughs>